story that's grabbed some national attention. It is the controversy over the newest contract for local Catholic school teachers. And today, teachers and some former students are protesting outside the offices of the Catholic Archdiocese of Cincinnati. And local toast Perry Shively talked with some of those protesters and has the latest on this issue. These former students are here in support of their teacher. Richard Haig is one of the longest tenured teachers in the local Catholic school system no longer. Haig refuses to sign a new controversial teaching contract offered by the Archdiocese of Cincinnati. That contract includes a morality clause that specifies that teachers must not show public support for a gay lifestyle, out of wedlock, sex, or abortion. All employees have to sign that contract or lose their jobs. Well, Haig refuses, and today his former students are protesting the contract during what's being called a rally for Haig. They call him a man of conscience. Now, the rally started with comments from protesters at about 8 o'clock this morning. There was a reading from a poem written by Haig. Names like trouble. It makes them famous. They see themselves bannering on the front page for a day or a week nominated for time's brief presidency. Dick Haig held everybody to the highest standards for 45 years in Catholic education. Not just his students, but his bosses too, believe me. The biggest thing I ever learned from Dick Haig was, was never be silent. Always stand up for who you are and what you believe in, and then everything will always be okay. And him not signing that, he ma made me realize that he meant that. And so that's why we're here, because we mean what we say. We're all equal. Brown says this isn't right. The protesters want their voices heard and they are going to stand up for what they believe in. And ultimately, he says it's the students affected by this contract. The rally is expected to continue through 2 o'clock this afternoon. And for their part, the Archdiocese of Cincinnati says this contract is simply what's been expected of the teachers all along. Downtown Perry Shibley, Local 12 News. Now, billboards up around town also challenge the new teacher's contract. A group called Voice of the Faithful claims the Archdiocese is not faithful to the gospel with this new deal.